most interesting thing in tech, I want to talk a little bit about the geopolitics of VPNs and secure systems. So I'm at Web Summit at Lisbon in Portugal, and I met with Andy Yen. He's the CEO of ProtonMail. ProtonMail is secure email. I use a ProtonMail account for tips. Certainly when I was a journalist before I was CEO, I used it more actively. If you have a tip for an amazing story, The Atlantic should cover, NX Thompson at ProtonMail.com. But Proton also makes a VPN service, and a VPN service is a way of disguising your internet traffic, right? So if you visit a website, essentially it's putting a separate server in the middle of that. So your request goes to the VPN server and then to the website so that your location is protected. And this, of course, runs into geopolitical questions. And so there are three categories of them that I think are pretty interesting. One, the countries where VPN services are banned, Belarus, Russia, China. Okay, not a big surprise. Second category is India. Fascinating example where India said, all right, you can run a VPN service in India, no problem. But we, the government, need all your logs. We need all your information. Well, that doesn't make any sense. If you're a VPN company, the whole point is privacy. You're trying to protect users from the eyes of the government. So why would you agree to that? So Proton had to leave and move the servers and move all their systems outside of India. You can still, through some complicated math, access servers that appear to be inside of India, but they actually aren't inside of India. And then the third situation or category is Iran. And so Iran, of course, has massive use and exploding use of VPNs right now because of all of the protests. The government would like to be able to see all internet traffic, would like to be able to track everybody down. So the use of Proton's VPN service is skyrocketing. Well, the problem is, what if the government can track who's using the VPN? So here, what they've tried to do is to disguise traffic using the VPN and make it look as much as possible like regular traffic. So when you, again, access the VPN server before you access, say, the news site that you want to read, there's something called a handshake, which is a connection between you and the VPN server. Traditionally, the VPN servers have done the handshake in such a way that they're recognizable. In fact, every time I've used a VPN, it's identifiable, right? The website that I go to knows that I'm using a VPN. It still disguises my traffic. What Proton has tried to develop is a way of hiding that to make it look more like standard web traffic and make it harder for the Iranian authorities to identify who is using the service. Now, of course, there's nothing that gives you complete protection, but if you can increase the costs to the sensors, increase the complexity for the sensors, you've done something good. Fascinating space to watch, fascinating ways it ties in with geopolitics. Most interesting thing in tech, see you tomorrow.